They'll be saying, oh, Lord, here they come. Yeah, here we come. Huh, here we come. <laughs> here we come. Here we come. Yo, what is going on, guys? How are you guys doing? I hope you're having an amazing day. This is Sasquatch, and we are back with some more Ark Survival Evolved Mobile. So, first off, before we get started, if you are not subscribed, make sure to smash that subscribe button. If you enjoy the content, smash the like button, guys. Share these videos with your friends if you enjoy them, only if you enjoy them. Today, we are going to get into Griffin Kibble. So, Griffin Kibble is actually kind of hard to make. Not hard, I would say, but it's not the easiest thing to come by. You have to have a griffin egg, which you have to breed two griffins together to get that egg. And then you have to have a whole bunch of other supplies, including, if y'all did not know, you have to have this, where did it go? Um, I think someone said you had to go into garden. Oh, no. This is me not being prepared, guys. So sorry. 30% off? Drive gigantopithecus rug dude we should get that um decor maybe and then garden um it's the snake seeds they are snake plant seed so you have to have snake plant seeds which i believe i already have two of them yes i do it takes one of those and we will go over the supplies in a minute but guys you like my skin this is the metallurgic or however you pronounce it graft let me show you how these work. As you can see, my implant right here, it has a little picture of a person next to it. And I can hit detach, and then it takes it off. And now I am a regular person. And then I click on it, hold, and then I drag up to my implant. And bam, there it is again. And on my other server, I have the molten one. And I have codes to give away, guys. Some of the codes contain this skin, and some of the codes contain the glacier, glacial uh, not skin, sorry, graft, and some of them contain the glacial graft. So I will be giving those codes out. No code on this video. I want to try to try to do something a little different for the codes because so many people go through my videos and can't find the codes. Um, I'm gonna say hi to this guy. Let's let's wave hi to him. I don't know who that is. Um, where's the wave? Wave. There we go. Anyway, also guys, someone has been dropping dinos in this base and it has killed. It has killed me, and it killed the mother to this baby griffin right here, which is at 61%, by the way. It has been how many days now? Like four or five days? Only at 61%? It's insane. So I hope this griffin gets fully grown soon. Here is my Theamu, my awesome, awesome Theamu. But let's go take a look at the griffin kibble. I have all the supplies over here. Okay, in the fridge, I have most of what we need. We have the griffin egg. And then we need long grass, sav savo root, centronome, and we need cooked prime meat. We need one of each of those, one griffin egg, and then we need tin fiber, which is right here. And then we put it in a cooking pot, which I have down below, down there, which should already have water in it, I believe. Let's take a look here. Um, okay, it already has water in it. Someone made red paint. I wonder who made red paint. But yeah, guys, I'm trying to find out who dropped dinos in my base that killed me. If you have any information, let me know. And if you come to me with who dropped dinos in my base that killed a lot of our dinosaurs and me and made me lose all of my OP gear, I will give you, personally give you a code. Maybe even two codes. I really want to find who this person was and ban them and ban them from the game. So let's go ahead and grab the griffin egg. Um, we only need one of those. We'll, we'll just bring a couple of everything just to be sure. Centronol, and we'll just bring all the meat. Why not? Why not? Okay, let's bring it down here. And this will only make one griffin kibble. Unfortunately, it sucks. I wish it would make more, but one griffin kibble on a low level griffin, guys. Oh no. Will um do like I, I saw a video um of a griffin doing oh what was it? The griffin, it was like a level 5, and it tamed instantly, which, yes, that's a super, super low level. But, hey, it still worked. Now we hit light fire. Um, oh, wait, forgot the fiber. We need the fiber. Fiber! Put the fiber in there. Okay, unlight. Light again. 
what am I missing? That should be everything. Water, griffin egg, centronol, sav root, long grass. Um, I could have sworn that was everything, guys. Let's try this again. That is not working. What are we? Is it because this is in here? Maybe I should drop that out. Okay, let's turn the fire off again. Turn it back on again. Okay, I must be missing something. Give me a second to go look at the list. I swore this was it, but I, I, I do feel like I'm missing something. So I will be right back, guys, and we can figure out if we can get this made. So I'll be right back in a second. Okay, well, I am obviously stupid. I completely forgot what I just mentioned in the beginning of this video. I need the dang snake plant seeds. So let's go ahead and throw the snake plant seeds in there. I was sitting and I was like, man, what did I forget? Now this should craft. There we go, cooking 27 seconds and the griffin kibble will pop out. And unfortunately, I'm not going to probably won't be able to tame a full like a, a, a griffin with just one kibble. But we will go knock out a low level and see what percentage this kibble does to that griffin. And then maybe finish it off with aloe kibble. I don't know. Might not. I probably won't end up taming another one because I want to find another mate for either this one, which is the... Um, oh, wait. There she is. So she didn't die. <gasps> I can make another griffin kibble, guys. Oh, my gosh. We need to mate them again and make another egg. So we will make this griffin kibble. Um, I think it is done. Let's see. There it is in all of its glory. Kibble griffin. Okay, let's stop that. Where is the mate? This is the mom. And then I have the dad somewhere else. The dad was somewhere. That's not the dad. Maybe it was the dad that died. I thought the mom had died. Um, Let's look at our list real quick. If y'all guys didn't know, you can go here and go to Tames. And you can scroll down and see all your Tames, which, gosh, we have a lot. We need to get rid of them. Dazari, uh, which I think was that one. Um, Lannery, yeah, they're both still... I still have both of them. Which one is this one? This one is Lannery, so we need Dazari. So apparently he has flown away somewhere. Um, let me let me go find him, and then we will breed them and make one more griffin egg. And then we'll make one more kibble, and then we'll see how much two kibbles do to a griffin. So we'll be back here in a second. All right, guys. Well, I'm kind of stupid. The um, other griffin I requested was actually the baby griffin. I wasn't paying attention. And so I waited for it to come in, and there's the baby griffin over there, the adolescent. It flew in. I was all excited. I bought a pheromone because I was going to make a super griffin kibble and see how much percentage that does. But it apparently did end up dying. So hopefully we can find another mate for this one or use the kibble to tame a low-level female and then go ta tame a low-level male to be able to have breeding partners. The only thing that sucks about this is you have to get them with the same, you know, last part of their name in order to breed them. So breeding, breeding griffins isn't as easy as, you know, getting a whole bunch of females and then using one male to breed all of them. I would literally have to get one male and try to find a ton of females that match that male's name in order to in order to breed them. But at last, we still have at least this griffin kibble. We can go knock one out and see what percentage it does. So I'm gonna fly over to the mountain and we will see we will find us a low level and, and hopefully maybe it'll tame a low level completely. Uh, if not, oh well, at least we know I bought a soothing bomb which you can see right there. So anyway, guys, I will be back once I'm over at Far's Peak. All right, guys, peeps, we are back. I actually did not find a low-level griffin. Instead, I found a male mate to the female we already have. It is a level 90, but it is the mate and I really want to be able to breed them. And this this one might take a while to tame, but it will save me time in the long run having to tame two more griffins. So I made one of the little dino pin catches things. I put wooden spikes all the way around to keep, you know, mountain lions and stuff out from getting it. But I really don't care what level this turns out to be. So I'm going to go ahead and we will throw the kibble in it. And let's see how much this kibble does. Let's do the soothing bomb. Remote use item. And then we'll go ahead and throw the kibble in, and then I will probably just go ahead and use meat. I don't feel like buying a whole bunch of, um, oh, 
aloe kibble because I don't think the aloe kibble does a ton. It does. It definitely does more than um, the regular meat does. So uh, actually, I, I might end up throwing aloe kibble in it, but we'll see. We'll see what what meat does. But let's go ahead and throw just this kibble in, and it's gonna be a second before it gets up. I'm hoping it at least does like. 10% or something because if it does 10% for a level like this that would mean you don't have to make you know 10 of them which would not be that bad I mean I guess it wouldn't be that bad I don't know guys let me know what your your, your thoughts are down in the comments about this new kibble for the griffin if you think it's not any easier if you think it makes it easier just let me know your thoughts so we'll come back in a second when this guy is about ready to eat his first bite and uh, we'll see how much how much what percentage it does so see y'all shortly Okay, guys, I really do not know what happened. I had recorded the part after the griffin was about to eat the kibble, and it went to 57% with one bite. And then I went to go edit the video, and all of a sudden, it was all messed up. I did not have the video part to the actual audio. Something was wrong. I had the audio, but I didn't have the actual video of me watching it happen. But as you can see, the griffin now is at 86%. I went ahead and threw aloe kibble in it. But just that one kibble alone did 57% to a level 90, which is awesome. Like, I've never... I'm trying to volume down some. I, I never would have imagined it would have done that much to the dang griffin. So I'm super, super hyped. This guy is going to be tamed in no time because of that. And then I also talked to someone else, and they said the super griffin kibble does like 60 percent to a level like 290 so i'm going to be making a super griffin kibble next and then coming back here and taming hopefully like another level 100 150 and taming it super quick so this is the male mate to our female we have i'm going to take it back to base i'm going to mate get an egg and then i'm come back here and just tame a whole bunch more griffins um, probably, like I said, really low-level griffins and just tame them with aloe kibble. And then make a whole bunch of aloe kibble and tame super high levels like this Theamu right here. Except they will be higher if I can find a level 150 because taming effectiveness will not be going down. But sorry I missed it, guys. I hope you take my word for it. It was a 57%, which is also, it's just insane. But I think that's it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you take it one day at a time, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out, guys. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me.